The F-35 Lightning II is now a nuclear bomber. Advanced, stealthy, single engine. There's nothing the F-35 Lightning II can't do. Industry experts and analysts across the globe widely recognize the American-made F-35 as the world's most advanced fighter jet. The aircraft has three main variants. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B, and the carrier-based F-35C. The F-35A, operated by the U.S. Air Force, as well as by more than a dozen allied and partner nations, is capable of conducting both air and ground attacks, carrying a variety of ordnance and bombs. Additionally, it can serve as a tactical nuclear bomber. American deterrence efforts came one step closer to a critical new level when the Air Force proved the F-35A stealth fighter is capable of delivering a tactical nuclear weapon inside hostile territory. In 2021, two F-35A aircraft successfully released B-6112 joint test assemblies comprising functional non-nuclear components and simulated nuclear components from an altitude of 10,500 feet. It took approximately 42 seconds for the bomb to reach and hit the designated target on the range. The tests mimicked a real-world tactical gravity nuclear weapon released at the Tonopah Test Range in Nevada. The test was particularly significant since the F-35A is expected to carry the B-6112 internally, unlike other so-called dual-capable combat jets that can fly at supersonic speeds, such as the F-15E Strike Eagle, which is also capable of employing this weapon. The Air Force's existing stealthy B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider bombers also carry these bombs internally but fly at subsonic speeds. Other U.S. aircraft cleared for its use include the B-1 Lancer, B-52 Stratofortress, F-22 Raptor, and F-16 Fighting Falcon. On the other hand, just earlier this month in European countries, the Netherlands, a crucial NATO ally, reached a significant milestone in its defense capabilities. Dutch F-35A fighter jets, part of the collective defense fleet, have received initial certification for nuclear deterrence missions. While the Netherlands does not possess nuclear weapons, it actively participates in NATO's nuclear sharing doctrine. This approach is crucial for countries such as Belgium, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands, which host American supplied B-61 nuclear weapons and rely on NATO's collective nuclear strategy for deterrence. The B-6112, a tactical nuke. The B-6112 is a refurbished, consolidated version of earlier gravity bombs. It can offer four blast options measuring from 0.3 to 50 kilotons, more than double the estimated yield of Fat Man, the larger of the two nuclear bombs the U.S. dropped in Japan in 1945. The U.S. had announced plans to produce 480 B-6112s from fiscal 2022 to 2025 and phase out those with much higher yields while experts estimate the U.S. now owns 680 B-61s in total, including 230 for non-strategic platforms. In October 2023, the Pentagon further announced that the United States would pursue a modern variant of the B-61 nuclear gravity bomb, designated the B-6113. This variant would be deliverable by modern aircraft, possibly including the F-35A, strengthening deterrence against adversaries and assuring allies and partners by providing the President of the United States with additional options against certain harder and larger area military targets. Stealth and Precision Known for its sleek, stealthy, and highly networked design, the F-35 is more than just an aircraft. It's a flying computer with the capability to detect and destroy enemy targets from unprecedented standoff ranges. In simulated war games, the F-35 has demonstrated its prowess by eliminating fourth-generation jets from undetectable distances. To maintain its stealth profile, the F-35 incorporates two internal weapons bays, each equipped with two weapon stations. The outboard weapon stations can each carry ordnance up to 2,500 pounds, while the inboard stations are dedicated to air-to-air -air missiles. In air-to-air -air engagements, the F-35 can carry a range of missiles, including the AIM-9X Sidewinder, 
AIM-120 AMRAAM and the upcoming AIM-260 JATAM. For air-to-surface operations, the F-35 is equipped with a range of powerful munitions such as the AGM-88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile and anti-ship missiles like the AGM-158 LRASM. Additionally, the F-35 can carry a wide range of bombs including the Joint Direct Attack Munition, Paveway Series of Laser Guided Bombs, AGM-154 JSAW, GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, GBU-53B Stormbreaker, and even nuclear bombs. This impressive weaponry underscores the F-35's capability as a cutting-edge multi-role fighter. F-35 as Bomb Truck The F-35 is built to elude and destroy enemy air defenses, use cutting-edge stealth technology to fight advanced enemies, and draw upon long-range sensors to find otherwise far-away enemy targets. Yet at the same time, the Joint Strike Fighter is built as a multi-role stealth fighter, meaning it's also specifically engineered with an ability to launch massive air attacks on air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. This kind of mission scope invites the questions of just what it would mean to full load an F-35 with weapons. The aircraft features an internal weapons bay intended for attacks while maintaining a stealth configuration, but a full force attack requires the use of external pylons, referred to as the F-35's beast mode. In stealth mode, it can carry 5,700 pounds internally, while in beast mode, it can carry a full 22,000 pounds of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. This formidable loadout enables the aircraft to engage a wide range of targets, establishing it as a potent force in contested environments. An interesting report from the Aviation Geek Club describes beast mode as arming an F-35 with six inert 500-pound GBU-12 laser-guided bombs, four loaded externally on the wings and two internally in the weapons bay, as well as an AIM-9 training air-to-air -air missile. Naturally, this configuration increases the F-35's radar signature and diminishes the effectiveness of its stealth properties. However, such a setup would be feasible in combat environments where the United States has already achieved air supremacy. Externally hanging weapons presents contours and configurations likely to provide enemy radar with a more detailed return, delivering a rendering of the aircraft to adversaries. This kind of attack mode might also be needed should a combat campaign need to extend mission dwell time, creating the opportunity for the F-35s to hit more targets with a larger weapons load. A Legacy of Innovation The F-35 is the product of the Joint Strike Fighter program, which merged various combat aircraft programs from the 1980s and 1990s. The aircraft descends from the Lockheed Martin X-35, which in 2001 beat the Boeing X-32 to win the Joint Strike Fighter program. Its development is principally funded by the U.S., with additional funding from program partner countries within NATO and close U.S. allies, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Italy, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, and formerly Turkey. Several other countries have ordered or are considering ordering the aircraft, the program has drawn much scrutiny and criticism for its unprecedented size, complexity, ballooning costs, and much delayed delivery. The F-35 first flew in 2006 and entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps F-35B in July 2015, followed by the U.S. Air Force F-35A in August 2016 and the U.S. Navy F-35C in February 2019. The aircraft was first used in combat in 2018 by the Israeli Air Force, the U.S. plans to buy 2,456 F-35s through 2044, representing the bulk of the crewed tactical aviation of the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps for several decades. The aircraft is planned to be a cornerstone of NATO and U.S. allied air power and is expected to operate until 2070. 